What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com back with another Blender modeling tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to use the Boolean modifier in order to modify and create new shapes inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. The Boolean modifier allows you to adjust shapes by using other shapes. And so this can be super helpful for things like cutting holes or creating shapes and adding details and other things like that. And so there's a number of different add-ons that use this functionality to extend this even further, which we'll talk about in the future. But for right now, at its simplest, what you need in order to use a Boolean modifier is you need a shape um, to be your base shape, and then you need another shape in order to be your shape that you cut your object with or that you adjust your object with. So let's say, for example, that I have this larger cube, and then I want to remove the material where this smaller cube is. Well, the way that works is you would make sure that you're in object mode, and then we're just going to add a modifier right here and we're going to go down and select the option for boolean and so what boolean is going to do is it's going to allow us to cut this shape with the other shape so notice when i initially select this nothing really happens however if i was to go in here using the object setting and select the other object what that's going to do is that's going to use the other object in order to cut a hole in the shape where the objects intersect. And I will note this only works for solids, so the fact that these are solids means that this is going to work just fine. But let's say, for example, that I was to take this cube and hide it. You can see how what's happening in here is this is using that other cube in order to cut the hole where these two intersect. So one thing you might want to think about doing when you do this is you can select this object, then go into the Object Properties, and for your cut object, if you go in here and display as wire, what that'll do is that'll display this object so you can see where it is, but you can also see the opening that's being cut in here. One of the cool things about this is this is live, meaning if I was to scale this like this, this object is going to cut into my, um, this object is gonna cut live and adjust live inside of my object. So if I was to move it up, you can see how this is gonna adjust the way these intersect in a live manner. So wherever this is, the cut is going to move along with it. And so if I wanted to, I could do a Shift D to duplicate, move this along this axis, and then within my, uh, within my Boolean modifier, I can just add another. So I can just add another Boolean modifier here, select the second object, and you can see how now, this is going to cut this for both of these objects. So you can have multiple Boolean operators active at once um, within a single object. And so one of the other cool things about this is you can actually apply modifiers to this cube with the Boolean active, meaning you don't need to apply the Boolean in order to um, do like a bevel modifier, for example. So if I was to come in here and add a bevel modifier, you can see how this is adding my bevel wherever my object is that's intersecting with this within the Boolean. So this will live adjust just like this. And so the cool thing about this is this can really be a non-destructive workflow, meaning that you don't need to come in here and apply this and do a final change to your geometry in order for this to work. And this works for multiple different kinds of objects as well. So let's say, for example, that we were to add another cylinder. And we'll go ahead and scale this one down and then scale it along the x-axis like this. You could use this to cut a hole inside of your object. So we would just select this object right here. And let's go ahead and let's set this object so that it's a wire. And so you can see how wherever this cylinder intersects with this object, it's gonna cut a hole. And so one thing to note about this is this does kind of mess, depending on the kind of geometry you create, this doesn't necessarily fit within a quad-based uh, subdivision workflow. Meaning, for example, if we were to subdivide this object now, and we'll take a look at that a little bit more in a second. But if we were to add a subdivision surface modifier to this, you can see how you start getting weird geometry in here because this isn't creating quads. And so that is something to be aware of is when you use Booleans, you don't always get a smooth quad shape. So you just need to be aware of that. And a lot of people think that because of that, you shouldn't use Booleans. And I think that's kind of silly. I mean, if you're, if you're creating like a hard surface box or something like this over here, you don't need it to be subdividable, so you don't need to be able to apply a subdivision modifier to it later if it's a hard surface object. 
So just be aware that within some organic modeling and subdivision workflows, this might not make as much sense. But for something like this, for cutting a hole in an object, I think it makes a ton of sense. And so another thing I want to note about this modifier is there's three different options in here for the kind of operation that it creates. So by default, what it does is it does what's known as a, um, as a difference, meaning that it's going to take the difference between your second object and your first object and remove all of that material. So what that means is that's removing all this material to make this hole. However, you can also select options for intersect. And so with intersect, what that's gonna do is that's gonna leave only the geometry where these two objects intersect. So when you do that, when you leave that geometry, you can use you can use this to only leave what's left over in the union here. Or there's another option in here for union. And so if you select the option for union, what that allows you to do is that actually allows you to take these two objects and notice how the orange bounding box is now going all the way around this object when I select union. So basically what that's doing is that's taking this cylinder shape and it's appending or adding the second cylinder shape to it. So if I was to click apply and then move this, Right here, you can see how what this did is this took our cylinder shape and it actually made these two objects, it combined them and made them into a single shape. So you can also use this to combine objects inside a blender. And so this, this has a lot of interesting applications. So for example, let's say that we wanted to apply this Boolean modifier to this cube. We could use the sphere in order to remove the material on the inside of this. And so you can see how what that allows us to do is that allows us to remove the material wherever these two objects intersect. And then one thing to note about this, and let's go ahead and let's scale this down a little bit, and then we'll scale it along the Y axis, just like this. We'll move it a little bit, maybe move it down. One thing to note about this is you can use a subdivision modifier with, um, with the Boolean modifier, but the way that you need to do it is you just need to make sure, and I wanna scale this up just a little bit, you just need to make sure that when you do it, you have the subdivision modifier higher in the stack. So for example, let's say that we were to add a Boolean modifier here. We'll remove this object we'll make this object wireframe like this. And so notice if we were to come in here and we were to apply a subdivision surface modifier, you'd get a really weird result in here because what it's doing is it's trying to split this object or it's trying to subdivide the geometry that's created when you use this Boolean. However, if you were to apply the subdivision surface modifier before you use the Boolean, so if you wanted to subdivide something and then cut a hole in it, then this would work just fine. And maybe a better example would be, so probably a better example would be this UV sphere. So if you use this UV sphere, use a Boolean here, then remove the material at the cube, you can see how what this is doing is this is giving you an opening in your, um, in your sphere. However, if we were to add a subdivision surface modifier, you can see how you get this really weird result right here because this isn't creating quad geometry when it cuts this out, right? So it, your whole shape isn't split into quads, you have a bunch of ingons in here. However, if you were to move your subdivision surface modifier up, you can see how you could subdivide this sphere before you use the Boolean and get an acceptable result. So as long as you use the subdivision surface modifier inside of your stack before your Booleans, then those two work together just fine. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Do you use Booleans in your model? How do you feel about them? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.